my dad were listening and watching what's going on with the honor with the trailer history, the one thing he would say is you're talking about me too much. You're not talking about Charlotte enough. The one thing that is most meaningful to our family is not that he's being recognized for his artistic talents, which were incredible, but he's being recognized as someone who made a difference in a town that he clearly loved. So I think the one thing he would say as we move forward that the arts need to continue to be uh, an important part of our city. The other thing I think he would say is, is we need to maintain high expectations. He exemplified that. I, you know, he, he not only talked about Charlotte and Mecklenburg County in his hometown, his home state, and in this nation, but he did it everywhere he went. He spent time in, in London and in Paris, Tokyo, you know, China, Australia, playing in jazz clubs. And, and I, I can remember one evening that Peggy and I were fortunate enough to be sitting in London at a jazz club there. They introduced Ed and he came out and played a song and started talking to the audience. And he said, I'm so glad to be here. London is a great city and so forth. But let me tell you about where I'm from. Let me tell you about Charlotte, North Carolina. And then he went on a, a long spiel about Charlotte. But you know, here's somebody from Charlotte, North Carolina in London talking about his city as if it were New York or Los Angeles or any large major metropolitan area in this country. He had high expectations. And I, I think that's the one thing that it, going forward that he would say to all of us is, you know, expect Charlotte to continue to be a great city and to grow and to prosper.